Since 1999, 175 law enforcement officers across the nation have been killed in the line of duty after being struck by a vehicle. That's why agencies around Central Texas are sending a message to drivers to slow down or move over. KXAN's Casey James joins us live with more on this. Casey. After vehicles these days, drivers face more and more distractions, which can be a dangerous combination for those whose job description includes frequent stops on the side of the road. Officers pulling, uh, doing a regular traffic routine stop. Next thing you know, their car is being uh, flown into the to the next median. Exactly seven years ago, this APD officer was nearly hit after pulling over another vehicle for speeding. The officer was okay, but some officers are not so lucky. That's why the move over slow down law was put in place. And I think it's pretty dangerous, uh, honestly, for the emergency vehicles. With so many cars on the road, close calls are becoming more frequent. All the time, especially in Austin, especially when it rains. Oh my God. <laughs> According to the national survey, 71% of Americans have never heard of the law. That's why a variety of agencies around Central Texas are using the next few weeks to remind drivers of the move over law, including Kyle Police Department. I, I hope uh, people start paying attention, obeying the laws, and, and this makes it safer for everybody out here on the highway. Monday, Kyle officers cited 40 drivers who came too close to other units who had already pulled someone over. The law was passed in 2003. When drivers see a police, fire, EMS, or a tow truck, they have two options. You can either move over to the next lane as you pass, or you can slow down 20 miles an hour below the posted speed limit. Right now, 49 states have passed the move over laws. The Texas Department of Transportation issued more than 17,000 warnings and citations to drivers in 2011 and 6,000 the first half of this year. A message they want drivers to remember in hopes of saving their fellow comrade or anyone for that matter's life in the future. to $2,000, and it could be even more severe if there's property damage, and you're even looking at jail time if someone's hurt. In Central Austin, Casey James, KXAN News.